Good afternoon traders. It is Wednesday, August 13th, 2014 and the U.S. stock market is closed. It was an easy day today. You know, I don't have many what I call easy days trading, but today was nice and relaxed. It was low key and yet we were profitable. Uh, that's unusual for the markets. We came in with only one position uh, this morning in Anacor, and it was actually uh, was at a loss yesterday. But it, it actually, after having gone, it actually got down to over negative a thousand dollars at one point. But it reversed and it moved up, and we ended up getting out with $195 profit on it. That was our total closed out trades today, positive $195. But uh, we got into a fair amount of trades. We got into 14 positions today. Uh, and eight of those positions were positive, six were negative. So that's a pretty good ratio. That's what we normally expect. We, we, we trade between 55 and 60 percent accuracy so having uh, 8 out of 14 positive is about what we would expect but we are carrying over ten thousand dollars in open trade equity positive going into tomorrow so that's real nice anything over ten thousand is pretty good I think and we had a couple just great trades uh, and some other just good trades but uh, and and nothing really bad. So uh, that's a that's a good day. The Dow made 91 points today. Uh, was never negative. It moved up some in the middle of the day, which I like to see, and closed near its high. So I have no complaints about the day. Let me show you the chart. Okay, we're looking at the Dow here and. Um, you can see last Friday we had this nice big runoff and then there's had a couple days of just very easy pulling back but it didn't amount to much and um, I said yesterday I thought they're kind of putting in some bottoming action here didn't look like the market was going to go much lower well it didn't it uh, opened positive this morning it never went negative all day and it got up over a hundred points uh, not too much more than a hundred points but it got just a little above a hundred points and ended up closing up 91 points so it's pretty close to its high on the close again I love this action um, we didn't get this any big spike on the open that gets us into a bunch of junk right away and then goes against us the rest of the day. It was kind of a, a, a moderate spike, pulled back some, and then we had loved this thing right in the middle of the day because at that point we're in the position to get in to anything new that we want, you know, on, on this move and we're not having the market go against us with stuff that we already got into. So this is this is very nice. Just a little bit a pullback from that high point but not much of a pullback at all so um, this is a very well behaved Dow Jones Industrial Average in my opinion and it definitely helps us. I, we got a couple good trades today well we had more than a couple but I'll, I'll show you two of them anyway. Um, this first one is in Yelp and Yelp went through a bad streak a while back but it it's kind of acting like it's going to behave itself now we got into this on the second hour and you can just see this very uh, ordered march all the way up here um, and then just a little pull back toward the end but not much anyway we're, we're holding close to $3,000 in open trade equity in Yelp. So, you know, that that really looks good. And um, then this was the real 
granddaddy for you here. This is in CSIQ. You know, I <laughs> I can tell you this market has been so good for us. I, 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 you know, I should go back and calculate just how much money we have made in this market since the beginning of 2013. I mean, this, this, we're we're well into the second year of just almost continuous profits with CSIQ. It's been such a good market for us. And today is kind of interesting because we get this huge gap up and you've heard me talk about this people don't like to buy gaps they always waiting for a pullback and there is no pullback with CSIQ at all today no pullback it there was a tiny little pullback and we got it we bought 30 minutes into the day and the market just came back a little at that point and then it was off to the races after that if you were, were not satisfied with that tiny little pullback from this huge gap, you were just sitting on your hands. We got into it, and we are not sitting on your hands. We are holding over $6,000 in CSIQ. So we got a great trade here, even though we bought that gap. So, uh, you know, I'm a great believer in buying strength, not waiting for pullbacks because pullbacks indicate weakness in the market. So if you're buying pullbacks, you're maybe buying a market that's going to reverse. Anyway, that's my uh, theory <laughs> on trading for today. Good day. This is Trader Bob signing off. I'll see you tomorrow on Thursday.